God is a devil of church in I'm in the know who you It. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And some lotion on your face. Mm-hmm. <laughs> lotion. Lotion. Mm-hmm. That's your food. Mm-hmm. You hungry? Sausage, oops, sausage and blueberry. Here, 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 give me. waffles. Here, me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you think you want me? sausage half chocolate chip and I did have blueberry on our plate so I did just broke in half ah. <laughs> just broke this in half broke one of these in half and gave that to her and I drizzled a little bit of maple syrup on top of the waffles
something to put on your socks. You're doing good. I'm taking it. Help. Help. Yeah, let me put on your shorts. Help me. Yeah, I'm going to help you. Let me put on your shorts first. Come on, let's put on your socks. Let's try it, girls. Close. No chew. No chew. What? What? What happened? Your left foot. Ah, hold on. I'm all dressed. I like this. Let me see your outfit. Mm hmm. It's Let's go, guys. Let me come on. Come on. Come on. Let's go, guys. <laughs> another day, another smoothie. And I'm starving. But I'm not going to make food until later. It's 2 o'clock right now. I have a salmon in the fridge. I've been marinating it. Well, I showed you guys my grocery haul. And then that same day, <clears throat> I marinated my salmon. I cut it up. Put it in like the storage freezer bags and put it in the freezer. And now it's another day. And it's in the fridge. So it's just thawing out. First things first. Coconut milk. I have some mixed nut butter. This has almonds, cashews, pumpkin seeds, chia seeds, and flax seeds. Made a complete mess. I was trying not to get it on the edge, on the edges of my smoothie bowl, but I did it anyways. I have flax and chia seeds blend. So I'm just gonna put Looks like a tablespoon. Banana. Do you hear how quiet it is? Like, listen to the silence. An avocado. Oats. I like the texture of it in my smoothie. Strawberries. Mango. A little bit of ice.
I just used the NYX eyebrow pencil in the shade Dark Brown. So not too much. If y'all have seen any of my older YouTube or my makeup videos, y'all know I go all out on my eyebrows. It's like a whole routine. But yeah, we're just gonna go light this time. This is the Dior Backstage Concealer in the shade 4W. So I'm just gonna put just a little bit of that like like that like kind of lining it but not really and also a little bit lining the top and that's even kind of doing too much but yeah i don't know should i do a get to know me i have a two-year-old daughter who is out right now so this is really like the first time um i can't say the first time i've been without her but um because the first time Technically, without her was when I was traveling for work. So I would say this is like the first time actually just kind of like chilling, like relaxing and doing whatever I want to do. Um, the window is right here. So I'm like, so when someone walks by, I'm like, so I would say this is like the first time away from her where I could just like chill, relax and like do nothing, even though technically... There's so many things that I could literally do, but if I wanted to do nothing, then that's what I would do. But, but yeah, so right now I, I just have like a little eyebrow brush and I'm just blending out the concealer on my eyebrows. It's all blended out. How is it being a mom? Let's 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 ask these questions. I feel like I have had written down questions before to do like a get to know me thing. But yeah, how is it being a mom? I want to stop and say actually, I feel like even like people on YouTube who do like routines and things like that with like their kids like morning routine. I do that stuff too, like morning routine, night routine, stuff like that. And like, you know, what to feed our kids, whatever type of videos like that. But I just want to stop and say, if Nalani watches this years from now when she's older and she looks back on these videos, yeah, I just want to stop and say, like, I honestly adore my beautiful daughter. I love her so much. Like, I just feel like, honestly, I literally fall sometimes, like in the middle of the night, just like watching her sleep. Because a lot of times she sleeps next to me. So I literally just like ball sometimes just staring at her. Because like she's just so just like wonderfully, beautifully created. You know what I'm saying? She's just like this soul. Like this just eternal soul that it was just like. is already thought of before I even knew she existed. And she's just like. She's just so beautiful. I love her personality. She's coming into her personality. She makes like silly jokes. She has such a good memory now. I feel like a lot of things throughout the day, like she'll make jokes or I'll make a joke and sometimes I'll even forget about it. And the next day she'll kind of bring back the joke. I'm like, oh my goodness, you remember that. But yeah, I just feel like she's just so silly. She's coming into her personality. I just love her so much. I'm just so happy that I'm able to just like watch her grow just like every step of the way my daughter is not in daycare either so it's i just feel like i i also breastfed and even looking back at my videos i feel like okay i'm literally just rambling so what i'm gonna do is um this is kat von d i'm using the foundation what is it powder foundation sometimes if i don't feel like a lot of times if i don't feel like putting actual liquid foundation on my face Especially here in Miami, it's hot. I'll just throw on a powder foundation just to get my um, skin even, like my skin tone even. And yeah, it's perfect. So that's what it looks like. And this is Kat Von D Locket powder foundation in the shade Deep 200. But yeah, I'm actually going to put 
some concealer on this thing. Every time my face decides it wants to clear up, this pops up. I feel like it's like an annual bump. It's so annoying. But anyways, what was I talking about? I breastfed for two years, which I feel like even looking back at my older videos, I wish I was more like vocal about that because that was a lot. Like that was really a lot. But I also enjoyed it. I always knew I wanted to breastfeed. I feel like if I'm able to and if God created such like a beautiful way that we're able to sustain our babies up until whatever age, why would I not do that if I'm able to do that? Why not? But yeah, I'm just putting this all over my face just to even it out. Um, but yeah, I breastfed for two years and honestly, that's like a whole other topic for another day, which I should probably do something like that. She's also not in daycare and I just feel very strongly about that as well. It's actually surprising at like the reactions you get when you say like your child isn't in daycare. It's actually surprising. I feel like she's going to be in school for X amount of years when she gets older. So it's like, I just, I don't know. I just want that time. People who work at daycares, this is not everyone, obviously. To me, I just feel like they're just looking at your kid like just another kid. Just this is, they're, they're clocking and this is their shift. Some people, it's like their career. It's like their passion and things like that, which I get. But I just feel like with some people, it's like, it's just another kid, another day, another dollar for them. I don't know. I just don't want someone looking at my baby like that. You know, or just like you know, treating her any type of way or like ostracizing her. I don't know, I just, that just like breaks my heart even thinking about it. So I just feel like she's just so much better at home in our care, you know, you know, she can't speak for herself. So I just feel like there's plenty of time for her to be in school and in front of, you know, teachers and her peers and, and friends and things like that. So yeah, my girl's at home. <laughs> But um, yeah, I love my baby so much. And it's so hard to explain it vocally because you know, as parents, if you're a parent, you know, you know, you know. But I grew up in a very strict household. I feel like I had so much fun when I was, I feel like I had so much fun in college that like nowadays, even at my age at 27, people are like, you don't miss like the club. I'm like, what am I missing out on? Even when I was in the office, there was like a lot of younger people who worked around me and, and they were surprised like, so do you miss like, you know, going out and things like that? Like you miss like going to like the club and things like that. And it's like, at this age, what do I look like sitting outside waiting to get inside the club? Mm -mm. I did that in college. I did. I don't know where I was going with that. I'm going to go in with the translucent lori what am i saying laura mercier powder i completely butchered that i'm not going in with any concealer because that's just going to be too harsh but i am just going to press it underneath just to give it kind of like a brighter under eye literally this makes a huge difference literally i have this charlotte tilbury bronzing powder and i don't know which shade this is in because it's kind of rubbed off but I'm just gonna go kind of like right here just to kind of bronze it right here a little bit. I need some light in here. I'm gonna face it this way. Cause I'm gonna face you guys this way because the lighting is escaping me. And with that same bronzing brush, I'm just gonna brush away the translucent powder a little bit. All right. Now, blush definitely is challenging. It definitely has its challenges, obviously. Um, I feel like in the beginning, it was very hard for me just because um, it is literally just us down here in Florida. So um, his family lives in Virginia. My family is originally from Virginia, but they live like in the DMV area. But I forgot to mention, so it's Anastasia Beverly Hills blush. This is soft rose stick blush. 
See, I'm just blending that. But yeah, so uh, my family, well, actually, I would say my family doesn't really have a relationship with me ever since me having a baby. So um, it's really just been like his side of the family. And then it's me. But yeah, that's a whole other topic for a whole another day. I'm going to go in with my eyeshadow brush. And I just have some using the NYX Matte Bronzer. I'm putting that on my eyelid. I already did my eyeliner and my eyelashes and mascara and all that, so I don't have to do much. I'm just like touching up the eye area. So I'm just gonna go in with the bronzer underneath my eye as well, just to kind of warm it up. Yeah. Quick little one, two. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys got to the end of this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe. Comment below. Let me know what you guys want to see more of. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Hey, only if you let him. He can change you. Only if you let him. They like how you serve God. You ain't never met him. But I can see him in the trees. See him in the breeze.